everybody. So the tutorial before was about, you know, making an egg, taking an egg and adding some decoupage on it. So I thought, why not make it bigger? And ta -da! I have this cool ostrich egg that I have. And I'm going to do very similar to that. It will be, I think, a lot of fun. So I will need for this glue gun, paints, Mod Podge, and napkin. Also possibly some glitter, I haven't decided yet. The napkin I'm gonna use is this pretty one with this really lovely rose. A couple of other roses on the other side. Uh, by the way, if you don't have the egg, uh, no problem, you can use any kind of ball as long as it's heat resistant, meaning it will not go, um, it, meaning you can put glue gun on it and it will be okay. Uh, so do your best to find something like that. I'm sure Dollaramas, dollar stores will have that. Also, I believe this would be a perfect centerpiece for any kind of like a nice plate setting, possibly wedding plate setting. So let's start. First with the glue gun, here the glue gun, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start making over here on the long side of the egg, sim similar to what I've done with the egg before, these kind of Swervy patterns. Yeah, why don't we do a bunch of S's? S. And here I am starting another S. And off you go all around the egg. So here it is, look at this, all around the longer diameter, radius, radius, yes. I want to take one of the sides and that side will have more of the glue gun. It's going to have only like a little flower over here where the other side is going to have more of a flower. So on the side that I've chosen to have. Uh, more of the glue gunning. I'm gonna do kind of like I'm winging it. I don't really know how exactly. You can do anything you want, really. So here it is. All nice and you can almost see inside and now let's have a little bit over here too maybe a couple of swirlies in there and now a bunch of dots Now, why don't we do a couple of dots inside over here as well? So I cleaned the little threads from the uh, glue gun and I am now off to cover everything with white acrylics. Okay, let's see this. But before we start doing the decoupage, what I want to do is I want to take some black, make it slightly lighter than just pure black, make it kind of like a grayish color. And now I want to have some black on top of these designs that we just did. The idea is to make it look a little rustic. A little kind of uh, vintagey, but at the same time, let's not go too overboard because then it just becomes too dark. I guess the idea here is that maybe this was metal, right? Like dark metal, and with time, it was painted in white, but the metal here is showing through. Alright, I don't know how about you guys, 
but I am loving loving this look this kind of like vintage rustic feel let's uh, wait for it to dry and start on the decoupage okay now let's start with the decoupaging so I have this wonderful uh, napkin can be any napkin really guys it, it can be I don't know anything butterflies flowers for a centerpiece I think flowers are great uh, I can even be photos of you know if you're doing a wedding thing photos of the couple it's just you gotta print it on a thin paper and maybe soften it a little bit with water just be very careful but it is possible so I'm gonna do the big rows on the big area over here and a smaller rose over here I guess smaller rows will be this guy yeah probably this and this is the big rose okay what we need to do is we need to tear around it how we do this is we take it and off we go okay I actually decided to for the smaller area to just use the cute butterfly and what we need to do is now we need to separate usually napkins have three layers if you blow on it slightly it will start to separate so first you see first second and here's the third layer that's all we need we just need one top layer what we do is we take our Mod Podge with a brush and lots of Mod Podge over here. Now we're placing the butterfly. There it is. Perfect. And from the center on top, we are applying more Mod Podge. Here it is, so happy how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos. Just let me turn this to show you how beautiful this is.